Lesson 127. There is no love but God's. Hi there. Have you ever wondered what is the true meaning of love and how can we understand it? Well, today we will learn for starter that there is only one love. While we are often taught to believe that there are different types of love for different things or people, the truth is that love is one. Love has no separate parts, degrees, or levels. Love is like itself, it doesn't change based on circumstances or people. Love is the heart of God and of His Son, and it is also the heart of all of us. In fact, if we think that love can change, then we don't really understand what love is. It's impossible for love to change, it cannot be love at times and hate at other times, or given to one person and withheld from others. If we believe these things about love, then we don't understand it. Love cannot make distinctions or judgments, as it sees everything in everyone as one. Its meaning lies in oneness, and the mind that thinks in terms of separation cannot grasp it. There is no love but God's, and all of love is His. Love is a law without an opposite, and its unity is the power that keeps everything as one, linking the Father and the Son, and all of us, together as one. Any course that aims to help us remember what we really are, should emphasize that there can be no difference between what we really are and what love is. Love's meaning is our meaning, shared by God Himself, because what we are is what He is. There is no love but God's, and everything that exists is what He is, so there are no limits to us either. To understand the true meaning of love, we cannot rely on the laws of the world. The world's beliefs are designed to hide the truth of love. Nothing that the world values is in line with the truth of what love is and what we truly are. We should not seek within the world to find our true self, because love is not found in darkness and death. However, it can be seen by the eyes that see and listen to by the ears that hear the voice of love. Today, let's practice freeing our minds from all the laws and limitations we believe we must obey. Let's take the biggest step toward our goal this course asks of us. If we even glimpse the true meaning of love today, we will have taken a significant step toward our freedom and advanced beyond the measures of time. Let's be glad to give some time to God today, knowing that there is no better use of our time. Take two practice periods of 15 minutes today. Use these periods to escape from all the laws that you believe in now. Open your mind and rest. Although the world appears to hold you prisoner, the truth is that you can escape at any time you choose, if you just don't hold it dear. Withdraw all value you have placed on the senseless gifts it offers you, and let the gift of God replace them all. Call to your Father, knowing that He will answer. He has promised this. He will put a spark of truth in your mind, whenever you let go of a false belief, a dark illusion of your reality or an idle thought of what love means. He will help you understand the truth of love. In loving gentleness He will abide with you. Open your mind and let His voice teach you the meaning of love. And He will bless the lesson with His love. Today, all the years of waiting for salvation dissolve in the face of the timelessness of what you learn. Let's be grateful that we are spare of future like the past. Let's leave behind the past and look up to a new and different present that is the dawn of a new and different future. Here, we bear witness to the birth of a new world, and we will watch it flourish, blessing everyone who is willing to let go of the world they once believed was made in hate. We are all free now, and we are all brothers in God's love. Let us remember them throughout the day, as we cannot exclude a part of us from our love, if we want to know our inner self. At least three times an hour, during every waking hour of the day, think of someone who is on the same journey as you, and who has come to learn what you have to learn. As they come to your mind, give them this message from yourself. I bless you, brother, with the love of God, which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's, and yours and mine and everyone's. I bless you, sister, with the love of God, which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's, and yours and mine and everyone's. What do you think of that? How can our lives be different if we they were based on the true meaning of love? 
you are doing great. See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.